Hi, Beelers, round them up. It's going to be March 14th, for sale, 1965 through 1968 Ford Mustang. This search request comes from quite a few of our subscribers. And like these subscribers, if there's a classic car out there you're looking for, it's free and easy to do. Just subscribe to the channel and drop in the comments below the make and model you're looking for, and we'll round them up for you. So this is not going to be the only car for sale, but this one right here would be one I would want to go check out if I was looking to buy a 65 to 68 Mustang. So with that said, let's get started on with all the cars we did find. I don't own any of these cars. I don't make up the prices. I just simply put them in price order. So it's going to go lowest to highest, and they're all going to be found on Facebook Marketplace. So the very first one right here, if you want to find it, go Arkansas, 1966 Ford Mustang Coupe, 1800 bucks. Man, that's a cheap way to start. But there's no title. I'm digging the trailer. And I'm loving the slots on the Mustang. So, looks rough, no motor, no tranny, and no title. Want to build a drag car, there's a shell. Looks like he had some quarter panels coming along with it, maybe. Check him out. I don't know how much there is there. Offer <laughs> seems there's no title, but it's only been on here two weeks. And it was cheap, right? 1800 bucks. 1967 here, Ford Mustang, $29.99. That's the price. Listed one day ago, Las Vegas, Nevada. So that's exactly how you'd find this car, just like any car in this search. If we're on Facebook Marketplace, you go on there, go into Nevada, punch in 1967 Ford Mustang, you'll find this ad. It's currently listed for sale. No windshield in it, no engine, no trans, no carpet, no interior. There was seat frames. It does have some of the glass in it. Cool project. A day ago, is there a title? Probably not. I want to read it out here it is it does say it's a 289 a code got to kind of dig that it does say clean title three grand check it out i think it's worth going and grabbing 289 car got a 1966 ford mustang here three grand listed five weeks ago california so he has a 66 ford mustang coupe needs full restoration does have a title in hand and he's asking three grand so looking for a project, California with a title, three grand, boom. Definitely not been registered in decades. 1967 Ford Mustang here. So he's got it printed out, 3,500 bucks. Listed two days ago, California. The 67 Mustang Coupe project was original 289 V8. Try to put in as many photos as possible. Please don't offer anything until you come and see it. No engine or transmission. Someone did all that hard work taking out that ugly sunroof and welding steel roof hole back in the roof, but probably been easier to do a whole roof skin. But if that's what you got is a piece of metal that fit, man, do what you got. I'm digging it for the price. Got a title, thirty-five hundred bucks. This one here is going to be a nineteen sixty-seven Ford Mustang V8, thirty-five hundred bucks, Connecticut. So this is a week ago. I dig the green. It was a convertible too that they did not mention. Mustang for sale, serious offers only. And that's all it says. And if this was not a, a convertible, then they've already cut the roof off of it. I don't know. Check him out. That's your area. Looking for a ragtop green one. Didn't say nothing about a title. It's Connecticut. Been on here for a week. It's gonna be a 1968 Ford Mustang here. We're up to 36.99. Listed five hours ago. And it's gonna be Las Vegas, Nevada. I like the hubcaps. Pop bottle caps look great on this side. That's what I have on it. I like the other hubcaps too. Decent wheels. Looks like it's a stick shift on the floor. I'm digging that. Still got the dash in it. Still got the interior in it. Still got that six cylinder in it. Check it out. That's your area. That looks like a great one right there. What are we at? Thirty-six ninety-nine five hours ago, Nevada. We've got the 3800 now, 1966 Ford Mustang Coupe, two-door, 2D for two-door. Let me Arkansas two weeks ago. It's nice and wet. All the old parts look shiny. Got a nice four-cylinder done up for it. That's what you're looking for. Check him out. It needs a trunk pan. They'll say manual transmission. So he's got some parts with it, including a clean title. That's your area, Arkansas. Be a 1965 Ford Mustang Coupe 2D, 2D here, and it's going to be four grand. Listed 19 weeks ago, Indiana, man. I say a lot of times it's hard to get the money for stuff like this. 
Uh, you got to go out there and weld it together and put the wheels back on it, fenders back on it, hood back on it. You're trying to get money out of it, man. You're not going to sell it like this. And if you do, you're going to be giving it away, man. Nobody's going to pay you when they got to come load up the car and bring three trucks and trailers with them to take all the parts. So, I mean, 1965 Ford Mustang here, four grand, South Carolina, four weeks ago. Like someone put a tail pan in it. It's like the whole trunk was rusted out in it. I don't know. It looks like a hell of a lot of work to me. Four grand, South Carolina. It's been here four weeks. So this project car, real big print. It's going to be a 1966 Ford Mustang here, convertible, 2D, four grand. This is 16 weeks ago in New York. At least it said convertible in the title, but boy, look at that. Got it all welded together with some rods from falling apart. That's a huge project. I would pass on something like that. It's been on here 16 weeks. Apparently, I'm not the only one, but if you're looking for a big, huge project or a pile of convertible parts, four grand, check him out. I'm going to be up to four grand again here. 1967 Ford Mustang Coupe. It's going to be in Wyoming. 13 weeks this car has been on here for sale. Kind of see why, right? Sitting in a field with no wheels on it, sitting on blocks of glass missing, wanting four grand. Next thing you see is no title. It's going to be a 1967 Ford Mustang Coupe here. It's going to be five grand. So we finally made it to five grand. So this is two weeks ago, California. I dig the slots. You know I'm going to say that, right? Be cool if it had doors on it. Some interior in it. Five grand two weeks ago. Check them out. See translation it says it will accept offers on that one. This one here is going to be a 1967 Ford Mustang. Five grand listed two weeks ago, California. Be a 1966 292 V8 runs and drives. Clean title in hand. Five grand or best offer. Probably best one we've seen so far, five grand. Looking for a coupe, good coupe project. There's one to go check out. California. Should be the pick of the day, right? This one here is going to be a 1966 Ford Mustang. Five grand again, listed a week ago, Iowa. It's pretty rough. So I'm going to stuff some bondo in it. Still got the six cylinder in it. Clean title, project car, six cylinder. Ran a year ago when they parked it. Probably the same time they stuffed it with all the Bondo all the way around this wheel well. Does have cool hubcaps on it. At least on the one side. Check them out. Iowa's where you're at. It's been on here for a week. Could be a 1968 Ford Mustang here. Five grand two weeks ago. Washington. I'm digging it's a manual. It's going to be a six cylinder still. It's not currently run. We'll need to be towed. That's great potential. That's what it's saying. Two weeks it's been here in Washington. Hit them up. See if that's got a title. That's a cool one. 1965 Ford Mustang 2D for two door. 5500 bucks. List a week ago, California. This car looks like it was hit severely hard in the front end. And it definitely looks like a pile of parts to me. 5500 bucks Got priced up kind of high, I believe. That's my opinion. If that's your area, looking for a big project, you got a frame table. One that you can cut the whole front end off of. There you go. 1966 Ford Mustang. Six grand we're up to. Less than a day ago. It's going to be in Indiana. This car looks pretty good. Nice dash. Nice looking interior. V8. Yeah, this could be the next best car we've seen so far. It's probably the 289 I've been needing. Project has new metal. For restoring, it will need some quarter panels. With the six drivetrain, seven grand. With the 289C4, he wants eight grand. Looks like he's got the V8 drivetrain already in it, so that's what I would want with it. Give me a 1965 Ford Mustang here, six grand. This is a week ago, California. Give me a six cylinder stick converted to an automatic already. Oh, check them out. It don't look too bad. It's got four pans in it. Gotta dig that. Some kind of cool looking chrome wheels maybe coming with it. Gonna be a 1965 Ford Mustang here. 6500 listed five days ago, California. 
Gonna be a manual training it says. Got a V8 in it too. Project car 29. Stroke to 292 four speed with hydraulic clutch system, nine inch rear end. I'm liking the sounds of all some of that, but convertible sitting outside with no convertible top or cover on it or nothing. You tell me. 6500 bucks five days ago, California. Could be the coolest one we've seen so far. 6500 bucks. So 1966 Ford Mustang Coupe here. 6600 listed 11 weeks ago, New York. It'll be a clean title. It says with lots of parts, 6600 best offer. Hit him up, give him a call. That's your area. Engines ripped out of it. Front clips almost pulled off of all off of it, except for the hood. And we're up to $7,200 now. 1966 Ford Mustang Coupe. Listed four weeks ago, California. So that's exactly how you'd type it in. 1966 Ford Mustang Coupe, California area, $7,200 this car come up. It's currently listed for sale. It's been on here for four weeks. Just like all these cars we're going to watch during this episode, as of March 14th, these cars are all listed for sale. Again, I don't own any of them. We don't charge finder fees. Just subscribe, drop in the comments what you're looking for, and hopefully we'll help you find one that you can go buy. That said, we're up to $7,500. 1967 Ford Mustang. Lots of parts. going to be in Georgia. Six days ago. I don't know if you're getting a title or not. A lot of times in Georgia, you're just going to get a bill of sale. Unless it's got an out-of-state title still with it. On to another one. Someone asked me the other day, why do you always say that? Because Georgia don't have titles. On to another one. That's what they claim. You don't get a title in Georgia. 1966 Ford Mustang Coupe 2D. I don't know how many other states are like that. You know, listed 24 weeks ago, Indiana. Ohio, you got to have a title. You're not getting plates. You're not going to register it and drive it on the streets in Ohio if you don't have a title. If you got some kind of dealer license, you can throw a dealer tag on it. Nice looking six cylinder, $79.99, Indiana. Got brand new tires on it. Looking to do some body work, project. That's how you want to find them all together. On to the next one. That'd be this one right here. 1968 Ford Mustang. 8500 bucks. Listed 11 weeks ago, California. Want a big old Chevrolet cow hood on your car? There you go. Got a video here, too. Highly doubt this runs. There's no audio, too. I don't know what kind of video that is. California, 11 weeks ago. Los Angeles, 8500 bucks. To read him out if he's got a title or not. It says runs and drives in reverse. 1965 Ford Mustang Coupe to 2D for a two-door. I don't know. You know, I'm not the one guys to type these up and leave the 2D in there for a two-door. But I almost guarantee everybody that punches in a search, nobody puts in 2D for two-door. You know, I'm not the one that's selling this car. It's not my ad. Nine grand are asking for this one. California listed a week ago. I've appreciated all the six cylinders. And no Elderbrock air cleaners. Not many trailer wheels. 1965 Ford Mustang Coupe 2D. Ten grand. Six weeks ago, Texas. This car looks beautiful. So we've hit our first really beautiful car. Ten grand. And that's gorgeous. You're looking for one to restore and build how you want? Got ten grand to spend? Man, go check this one out. Down here for six weeks in Texas. Manual transmission, six cylinder, cranks, but don't start. So it's not running currently. Gonna be a ten grand again, 1966 Ford Mustang, Indiana. Tell me which one would you rather have? That last one or this one? This one's got a V8 in it. It's like it's been in the garage. I think I'm gonna take my chances on this one. It says 302, 30 over. Needs a fuel system cleaned out, runs and drives. Been sitting, 10 grand, Indiana, listed one day ago. Can't hit him up fast enough. Looking for a cool coupe, 66? Boom. There you go. You're welcome. So we had a lot of people wanting to see this search, and we have found a lot of cars. This is going to be a long episode. Hope you all stay tuned in for the whole entire episode. 
1964 Ford Mustang here, 10 grand, less than a week ago, PA. So that engine's looking real pretty. Really nice looking air cleaner on there. Loving it. It's got the manifolds. This car looks clean. Looking for a decent project. Because that's definitely still a project. 10 grand. But it's cool to see these cars start coming in at such a killer price. 1967 Ford Mustang. 10 grand. 23 weeks ago. Hard to believe he hasn't been able to sell this in that amount of time. Looks like turnkey driver. Don't show you under the hood or in the interior. So possibly a six cylinder in it. So it's got 347 stroker with a nine inch four with four tens and a five speed. Can't get there fast enough. 23 weeks. I mean, what's going on with that? Car's gotta be rough or something. There gotta be something behind that car not selling. For 10 grand. And here we got a 1965 Ford Mustang 10 grand Arizona two weeks ago. We do got some nice trailer wheels on this one. Just like those trailer wheels I got on my Blue Sky Comet. I'm digging that old rock air cleaner. Pretty decent car on the floor. Clean title, three-speed manual, 302. I'm digging it. Two weeks, 10 grand. Check them out. Arizona's your area. There's a cool one. It'll be 1968 Ford Mustang here. 10 grand, South Carolina, two days ago. Decent body, it says. Normal plate, normal patches. Some rust in normal places. There you go. And the air cleaner, they'll guarantee to burn a son of a bitch to the ground before you get it home. Two days ago, South Carolina. You knew we were going to see one. Especially when we look at so many cars in one search. And as, as bad as I can tell you that air cleaner is. Because it is truly the worst piece of shit made for an air cleaner. By Elderbrock. Let me throw that out there. They did put aluminum radiator in here. So you got to appreciate that. Um, you know, sometimes it leaves me speechless. But as many of them as we see. I mean, Elderbrock loves sticking it to people. Every time you buy one of those. Good chance you'll be going back and buying paint, primer, hood. Lumber, drywall, rebuilding your garage. All that said... 1965 Ford Mustang here, Coupe 2D, 11.5, California, that's how you'd find it. Looks like they had some really nice looking blue paint lined up for this car. How many layers of Bondo it shows they've shaved through on some really bad parts. I would pass. This is going to be a 1967 Ford Mustang Deluxe Coupe, 11.5, five, five hours ago. Idaho, you can't get there fast enough to get this car. You want to be Stephen McQueen for a day? Yeah, go buy this one. No, it's not a fastback, but it's the right color. It's a stick shift. The V8 in it. I dig the aluminum slots. I think this is the pick of the day so far. So I'm digging that one a lot. Just went on here five hours ago. Not sure you're going to be able to get there fast enough to grab that cool green one. That said, next one here is a 1965 Ford Mustang 12,000. This is a week ago, California. Got a list of new parts it's got on it. Nothing about a title. I don't like the interior. I don't like the color or the hood scoop. Or that it's lowered. The shaved tail pan. Did have aluminum radiator in it. I don't know if that's what you're looking for. That's definitely not what I would go with. For 12 grand on one of these. Oh. Going to be a 1965 Ford Mustang here, 12 6, listed 15 weeks ago, California. Clean title. It's complete. I dig that. Got a big stripe over the middle of it. Don't look bad. Looks like you can actually clean this up and go cruising this year with it. We're at 12 6. 15 weeks it's been on here. Check them out. There's the translation on it. So it's 14,000 something here. What? Well, looks like they've dropped down to 12.6. We're going to be at 14,000 here. 1967 Ford Mustang Coupe 2D. 14,000 five weeks ago, California. Not a bad looking car. I'm digging the wheels. Cool paint. Nice looking interior. Cool car. From what I see in the pictures. I mean, you have to go check them out. Just like every car on every episode. Uh, who knows how much Bondo's in this thing. 
Has I actually had decent body work done, or did someone just pack it full of mud and cardboard? I don't know. That's why you gotta go check them out real good before you buy anything. Never buy something on scene. That's my opinion. Ford, especially when it comes to fourteen thousand dollars. But five weeks ago on that one, it's gonna be a nineteen sixty-five Ford Mustang Coupe. Fourteen thousand. Ten weeks ago, Michigan. I'm digging the white with the red interior. Two eighty-nine. Looking like a short video, like it runs. Yeah, I'm digging that. Hey, give me a 289 that runs. It's going to be a 1966 Ford Mustang Coupe. 14,000. Listed two weeks ago, Chicago, Illinois. This car looks nice enough to take right to the car shows. So if that's what you're wanting, six cylinder, good on gas, and drive the wheels off of it, we found one of those at 14,000. Don't look bad at all. And it's got a stereo system in it. That's what you're looking for. Illinois, Chicago, red one. $14,999 is what we're up to now. 1968 Ford Mustang GT. Bullet Coupes, what they're claiming. Las Vegas, Nevada. It's like a pretty nice car. I like the wheels. Changed out the taillights in it. Love the wooden wheel. Black interior. Cool car. For under $15,000, i am digging it. Definitely needs to be finished up with some nice paint. 25 weeks they haven't been able to sell that car. It's going to be a 1968 Ford Mustang here. 15000 listed two weeks ago in New York. Only got one photo, not much to show. Does say a car runs and drives. Florida car, six-cylinder automatic. I don't know about 15000 for a six-cylinder. Be a 1968 Ford Mustang Coupe 2D here, 15,000 in Oregon. Got a couple good photos. Had some nice looking interior, wooden wheel, rust in the lower quarters, some aluminum trailer wheels. Overpriced. I think 15,000, 24 weeks. I would say I'm not the only one that thinks so. It's still listed for sale 24 weeks later. I mean, 1968 Ford Mustang here, 16.5 we're up to. This is 14 weeks ago, California. I mean, 1968 Mustang, 351 Stroker in this one. Looking for a drag car? Well, we finally found one of those. It's going to cost you 16.5. I like that air cleaner. Got a whole lot of air breather going on there. Yeah, I'm digging it. What a cool race car. For 16.5, California, check him out. It's got a 9 inch in it, too. Power glide transmission. Looks downright sick. I'm digging it. That's set on to the next one. It's going to be a 1966 Ford Mustang Coupe. 2D for two door. 20,000. This is a week ago, Texas. It's a nice car. Got 20,000 to spend. Looking for something that's just a turnkey and you're looking for white with blue stripes, black interior, automatic transmission. Well, we found it. Y'all are welcome. That being said, here's my pick of the day when it comes to the Facebook Marketplace ads. It's going to be this one right here. 1965 Ford Mustang. 15000 listed a day ago, and it's going to be in Ohio. So with the Facebook Marketplace listings, pick the day goes to Ohio. See it right, 15000 It's fastback, automatic. On the floor, six-cylinder, and I'm digging it. So it's got a clean title. That's what you got to have. It's a clean, clear Kentucky title, although the car is in Ohio. That's my pick for the Facebook Marketplace. You might be saying, well, that's not what you show for pick of the day. That's because we got all these cars still on Craigslist. So all those ones you see at the beginning of this video can be found on Facebook Marketplace. Now all these cars can be found on Craigslist. And again, I put them in price order. So it's going to start off with the cheapest one all the way up to what you've seen on the banner for the pick of the day. It's going to be on the pick of the day here. So we found a lot of Mustangs for sale. I got to tell you, this search, never never have a shortage of cars to do this search. Let's just say that. 
there's always a lot of these Mustangs out there for sale. So with all that said, let's get started. It's going to be St. Louis, the first car, 1967, Mustang Coupe, two grand. 27 days this car's been on here. Floor shift. Looks like the body's decent. It is a six-cylinder, three-speed manual. You can't get there fast enough to buy that car. 27 days, they haven't updated the ad, and there's the catch. Missing title. So we're going to be up to 2500 bucks here. York, PA, again, Craigslist, 1966, Ford Mustang, 2500 bucks. That's cheap. It's complete. I'm digging it. Looking for a cheap one? Is there a title here? Nope. Salvage. So you have to have this inspected. It has a salvage certificate. It's a pile of parts. It's been here for five days. York, PA, check it out. It's going to be up to 2800 bucks here. Atlanta, Craigslist. 1966 Ford Mustang Coupe, 2800 bucks. Starting to look pretty good for 2800 bucks, although there's no glass, no trimmings. Check him out, and a missing title. I'd pass. It's a nice metal if you already got a title at home. This one's going to be in Texas. 1965 Ford Mustang, three grand, seven days ago. Missing the taillights, missing the front clip, no engine in it. Looks like there's parts piled inside of it. Not sure how much interior you're getting, but again, it's three grand. And it says clean title for Texas. You gotta dig that. Gonna be up to thirty-five hundred bucks now. Allentown. It's gonna be Pennsylvania, nineteen sixty-seven Mustang. Sitting in the back forty in the weeds with some trailer wheels. 3500 bucks, pretty cheap. Clean title is what it's saying. It's a good project car, all intact. For more info, give them a call. It's been here five days. Got to jump on that. That's your area. It's going to be Dallas here, 1966 Mustang. 4300 bucks, six days ago. Got some chrome wheels on this one. Six cylinders pulled, the doors pulled on one side. Maybe it's just got some black door, new doors put on it. Don't see the glass. Don't see taillights. The check you mind. He's got a printout on here. It says $4,300. You got to dig that for a price. Six days it's been here in Dallas. Title says salvage. Be Iowa here, 1966. Ford Mustang, five grand. We showed this car on the other platform. It's not a looking bad looking Mustang, but we're going to skip right along. Seems we already showed that one. I believe we already showed this one too. But well, just in case we didn't, this one's in Philadelphia. 1965 Ford Mustang, five grand, 14 days ago. It's kind of like why I like putting them in order together. That way we get off the duplicates from what we've already seen on Facebook Marketplace, we're probably going to see some of them cars. Now I didn't catch the duplicate because I didn't put them all in order together. But this is the way rounding them up used to be done when I first started doing these searches for people. We'd always go through Facebook or Craigslist first, then we would do the other ones. And it wouldn't confuse people as much. Now a lot of people are like, man, how do you find the cars? You just got to go on the platform. So if we was on Facebook before, now you got to go to Craigslist. Philadelphia area, punch in 65 Ford Mustang. This car's been here for 14 days as of March 14th. Just like every car in this episode, these cars are all currently for sale. You can buy any of these. This one's going to be in Phoenix, 1967 Ford Mustang. 5500 bucks here. I dig the mint green. This car was a cool color. Got a nice little printout on it. Does say clean title. Says it was a 289. Four wheel drum brakes. We're now up to 5,500 bucks. And again, it's saying no title right off the bat. It's going to be Baltimore, Maryland. Yeah, I don't know if I'm interested in a title. If that's what you're looking for, Baltimore. I love the sets of wheels he's got there. Got some really nice wheels. But I don't know about a car with no title. Going to be Louisville, Kentucky here, 1968 Ford Mustang. You want six grand for this one. Been on here for seven days. So it's like a pretty decent car, six grand. That's a cool car right there. Does have the six cylinder, 
automatic clean title yeah clean Kentucky title that's one we're checking out right there six grand you kidding me we're now up to 6600 can be New York 1966 Ford Mustang Coupe so we got pretty decent car he's got it inside on a lift so I expect to see really good pictures of the bottom Cool valve cover on. They didn't show you no pictures at all. The bottom. There you go. Rusted out frame. That's what you're gonna want to look for. Torque boxes on the front of these. Not that you can't weld them in. If you got a welder, you can fix anything. It's gonna be South Jersey here. 1966 Mustang Coupe 289. Obviously, the better condition you find, less work you gotta do. But anything can be fixed. Got a V8 under the dash air. 289. That's probably what I need to go shopping for is a 64 with a 289. Um, 19 days ago in this car. Does say clean title. Check it out if South Jersey's your area. Craigslist, Rockford, 1965 Ford Mustang. Gonna be Illinois. Says project. I don't know about those newer Mustang wheels on there. I guess they didn't look too bad. I like the Elder Brock valve covers. And I wasn't even like trying to be smart. Those are actually pretty nice valve covers. They're cast. And you're not going to have oil leaking down all over the side of your headers or manifolds with a nice set of valve covers like those. So I have said Elder Brock makes nice stuff. It's just you know, they make the worst shit in the world too when it comes to an air cleaner. Going to be New Orleans here, 1967 Ford Mustang, 7500 bucks three days ago. I dig the wheels. This car is badass. It is wet, so it's definitely looking shinier than what it should be. I got the garden hose out there. They probably pressure washed it. I don't like the Grant steering wheel. I like the console. I like that it's got interior in it. 7500 bucks three days ago. I think it's worth going checking out if that's what you're looking for. 67 Mustang. Yep, Louisiana, check them out. It's going to be South North Jersey here, 1967 Ford Mustang, 7800 bucks. Been out here for six days. These are like the wheels I put on my son's car. And they absolutely look beautiful on his red 64 Caliente. And I think I bought all four of those with nice tires for like, I don't know, man, 395 bucks or something. I don't know, I recorded an episode on it. I'm pretty sure I probably said I'm pretty transparent on prices on everything I own. Got less than five grand in all three of the cars I got out back. This is going to be in Montana here, 1966 Mustang, eight grand. It's going to be a two-door coupe, project car, automatic, clean title. It's like the engine's pulled on it. Why there's no engine in that? Half the vinyl top is missing or something. What do we have for price? Eight grand. This one here is going to be Chicago, California car, '67 Mustang barn find. He wants nine grand. Posted one day ago. Man, it's got a beautiful dash, beautiful steering wheel. Liking the seats. Interior definitely looked good. Was missing the grill. Does have a couple bumpers, tail lights nine grand it's not a bad price right chicago that's where it's listed so i don't know it's pretty shady because then it's showing it come up in los angeles so it could be one of those cars that's posted in so many areas that i don't usually include it on a search i don't like deceitful shit man i don't like seeing this is posted in chicago and then we're seeing on a map that it's in california no, I, I get it. I'm bringing you guys cars in lower 48, but this is real deceiving. So I don't usually show these. Maybe San Francisco Bay Area here, 68 Ford Mustang, running project, 10 grand. Interior's pretty much trash. Had some of it in there. I think we've seen cooler already, but if this is your area, California, I mean, he's not afraid to tell you that's where it's at. It's in California this time. Not listed in Chicago, cross-posted in Chicago.
Pittsburgh here, 1966 Mustang, 10 grand. Not a bad looking car. Not the greatest of photos. Don't show you under the hood or if it's a V8. It says six cylinder. Does say clean title. That's your area PA. There's one that's been here 24 days. It has an updated ad. It's going to be Houston here, 68 Mustang Coupe, 10 grand, 28 days ago. Always tell at the bottom if they updated it. He has not updated the ad. It'll be on here for another three days. 30 to 30 days, they delete your ad. You got to repost it. But a lot of people have been watching older episodes and subscribing. Appreciate all you new subscribers. A lot of you guys ask me, is this car still available? Do you know? And I don't know. You'd have to go on whatever area you're at when you're watching an episode of Round Them Up. You're going to have to see what platform were we on. Craigslist or Facebook. Was it on eBay? And then once you figure that out, you have to punch in that title that you see right here. And you find this car. Giggles and laughs. Y'all could just right now pause up the video. Go to Boston on Craigslist. Punch in 1965 Mustang Coupe. 10-5. Tell me you didn't find that car for sale. Been on here for 18 days. And if you didn't find it on here for sale, well, how many days has it been since you've been watching the episode? Because you can see here in the corner, we're on the 14th. So March 14th, this car was listed for sale. The only way to know if it's still listed for sale the day you're watching this video would be to go on to Boston and punch it in. Just like any car on all of our episodes. I'm showing you what platform they're on, which would be Craigslist, Facebook most of the time. And I'll show you how much they are. And what, what people have them listed as. That's how you're going to find it. In that area. That state. Usually if you just get yourself into the state that we're, they're in. Punch it in. You'll find it. If it's still for sale. Not a bad looking car there. If you want to read it out. He wants 10.5. We're all still at 10.5. It's going to be Memphis here. So you want to go Tennessee. Punch in 1966 Mustang Convertible. On Craigslist in Memphis, you'll find this car. It's been out here again 18 days. This one is a ragtop. Nice looking car. We're now up to 11,000. It's going to be Maine. 1964 and a half Ford Mustang. Original owner and condition. That's exactly what it said. Original owner and condition. So we're talking original paint. Original interior. Looking for something original. Right down to the original license plates. Yeah, I'm digging it, man. Looking for a cool car? There's a cool one. Yep, yeah, in Maine. It's going to be in Dallas here. We're at for sale. That's how you look this up. Go to Dallas, punch in for sale. 11 5. You'll find this car. It's not even listed under Mustang. It's going to be a 66 Ford Mustang, though. I don't like the 80s aluminum wheels on it, but it does say clean title. And for being in Texas, you got to dig that. Because we do hear a lot of time, no title in Texas. So we're going to be in Sarasota, Florida here, 1965 Mustang Convertible. I believe we already showed this car on Facebook Marketplace just a little bit ago. But there's how you'd find it if you're looking to check it out. Hit them up. Gonna be Sacramento here, 1966 Ford Mustang, 12 grand. Man, this car looks good. Chrome bumpers, chrome wheels, runs, drives, 12 grand four days ago. California, check it out. Or best offer, being sold as is. I'm digging it, man. What a cool car for 12 grand. Gonna be in Texas here, clean original 66 Mustang, 12.5. We're up to. Been on here 21 days. Definitely needs buffed out. It's a stick on the floor. And it's a six cylinder. I'm digging it. What a cool car to go grab up and drive home. 21 days. Been on here. He's been able to sell it. He did update the ad six days ago. We're now up to 12.5. New Orleans 1966 Ford Mustangs. Mustangs would be more than one, but he's only got. Two pictures there of the same one. Aluminum rally rims. That's what he's saying in his ad. New tires, runs good. Does say it's a six cylinder. Clean title, Emmanuel Trans. It's going to be in Dallas here, 1966 Mustang, 13,020 days ago. 
Well, it's been here for 20 days. I believe we showed it on Facebook Marketplace as well. Nice looking car for 13000 If we didn't show it on Marketplace, well, we showed it now. It's in Dallas. Check him out. It does say clean title. Nice turnkey car. Love the wooden steering wheel. This is going to be in Eugene, 1965 Mustang, 13.5. I think we showed this one before, too. I recall it because of the rims. It's some nice looking chrome trailer wheels on this one. Again, I dig the wooden wheel. Driver's seat needs recovered. Other than that, it's a car we're going to check it out if 13.5 is in the budget. Going to be Los Angeles here, 1968 J-Code Mustang. Convertible V8, 13.5. This would be a cool one to put back together, right? I'm digging that gold color. That's a project. Big time for 13.5. It's my opinion. It was posted just one day ago. Los Angeles is your area. You got some money to spill it on building one. Yeah. Gonna be El Paso here. 1968 Mustang Coupe 289 automatic AC car. 14,000. Some cool wheels on it. It looks solid. Love the color. What a cool car. 14000 Check him out. It's been out here for a month. So this car will probably be gone. By the time you get on here to see it, he'll have to have reposted it. You've seen it. You've seen it here. It was online. It'll be up to fourteen nine fifty here. Houston, 1966 Mustang. I like the black, the red pinstripe, the red interior. Manual on the floor, six cylinder. Yeah, that one's screaming for a V8 right there. 23 days ago. Check him out. That's your area. Does say clean title. Got some cracking in the paint. All that Texas heat. It's gonna be Twin Falls here, Idaho, 1965 Ford Mustang, 15,000 for this car. So like they polished up the wheels, still got the six cylinder, real nice interior, beautiful steering wheel. It's like some really decent paint. Beautiful car for fifteen thousand. Been on here for twenty seven days. He hasn't been able to sell that one. Kind of hard to believe. Columbus, Ohio here, nineteen sixty six Ford Mustang runs good. Fifteen thousand. Fifteen days ago. Still got the hubcaps, V eight with AC gorgeous car might be the nicest one we've seen yet comes to a 66 that thing's beautiful runs great newer paint text with any questions clean title columbus ohio gonna be chicago here 1968 ford mustang 15,000 posted 17 days ago looks like it's green I'm digging the green. I'm digging the GT hubcaps too. V8. Nice wooden wheel. Nice looking interior. Elderbrock carburetor. You can see he's got a stud on there, so he never had one of those catching on fire shit on there. The Elderbrock makes. I'm digging it. If it had the wheels on, rolled out, and some good pictures of it, that could have been the pick of the day. Type of, I'm liking it. St. Louis here, 1966 Ford Mustang, 15.5 we're up to. I don't like the 80s wheels, but I say all the time when I see them. These are like a Krager. Yeah, he's got the center caps in this. I don't know, to me, I don't like them on older cars. Those look better on 80s vehicles. In my opinion. Black interior, red, white top. How can you beat that? 15.5, been on here 30 days. He's not updated it, so it'll be gone. By the time you guys are probably able to look it up, he'll have to have reposted it. Craigslist only allows ads to be posted for 30 days. Coming in 1967 Mustang, very clean here. 15.5, that's what he's asking for. It's going to be a reading, Pennsylvania. Be our first real drag car, I believe. Check that out. Got a 460 in this one. So you want to go fast in one? Got a Ford 9 inch in it. It's like this might be a pretty fast one. Got a roll cage in there. I could live with the purple and the white. What about the aluminum wheels? But check him out. Want to go? Want to go fast in 67? There you go. 
1965 Mustang convertible here. 16.9 in Phoenix. Beautiful looking car. Looking for a convertible. But there's one to go check out. Dig the six cylinder and being able to afford the gas in it. Automatic. Yeah, that's a nice car. Phoenix. Been here five days. Just updated it three days ago. It's going to be Milwaukee here. 1967 Mustang Fastback Project. So, yeah, if you're looking for a Fastback Project, right here's one. But honestly, if you're looking to do this yourself, I would do it yourself. Instead of having somebody else graft in your quarter panels and your roof. You'll enjoy it a lot more if you built it yourself. That's what these guys are doing. Check them out. It's a coupe fastback conversion. They're not the only ones doing it. There's a lot of people doing it. So if you didn't know you could draft the roof into one of any of these coupes, well, you can. There's proof right there. One being done. He wants seventeen five, man. I myself would think it should have to be all primer like this, completely to be worth that kind of money. But that's me. If you're looking to buy one where somebody's already done all that welding and put the roof on it. Well, there's one. If you're not looking to flip it to make money, who cares if it's a real fastback or not? Like I always say, man, build it how you want it. It's going to be Columbus, Ohio here. 1966 Ford Mustang, 17.5. We're getting into some nice looking cars again, man. It's so over 15,000. You can buy ones that you can just go cruising. I mean, you can go cruising in this and have good times. Without much work, and they had a V8 in it. I was expecting to see a six cylinder. Gotta be honest. It's got a V8 in here. So I'm digging this one. Check him out. 11 days it's been out here. Ohio again. Man, Ohio's coming in with some strong cars. You gotta dig that. Yeah, I am digging that one. That's a nice car. Gonna be Cleveland here. So Ohio again. Classic Ford Mustang. 18,000. 23 days ago. I know all three of my comments that I got, Mercury comments, were built right here in Ohio, Lorraine, Ohio. There's a good possibility a lot of these Mustangs are all built right here in Ohio, too. So, loving the interior in this one. 18,000. I don't know if I've seen 18,000 there. But that's me, man. It does look clean. It's going to be Lexington. Kentucky, 1968, Ford Mustang, 19,000. Two pictures is all you get. That's some nice trailer wheels on it, $19,000. I don't know. It only shows you two pictures. It says 302 V8. We're now up to 19,000 again. Going to be Houston. This car looks real nice. So I'm digging the paint. Blue interior, V8. I believe it was a V8. Yeah. Got to dig that. 302. Definitely use some cleaning up under the hood. But I'm liking it. 19,000 liking it now. Not that. Wilmington, North Carolina here. 1968 Mustang. 19.5. Posted 18 days ago. Yeah, I dig the green. I don't like the trailer wheels, but I'm digging the stick shift. 302. Yeah, I'm digging that. Cool car right here. Don't matter if it's fastback or not. That's going to be the drivetrain you want, right? Man, I just couldn't do the wheels. I'd rather have some of those GT hubcaps and beauty rings. That's me. Check out another one. Dallas 1967 Mustang Convertible S Code to 394 speed. So, you want to talk about the pick of the day? There's your pick of the day, a factory 390 car. Yeah, I'm digging this one. You want to check out this one for 20 grand. So it happens you get up over 20, 30 grand for these cars, and we are going to go as high as 30,000 here. So, surprise, surprise, surprise. We're going to look at some cool cars. The 394 speed. You got to dig this one. That's what you're about. It's the numbers. Oh, go check out that convertible. So here's going to be 20,000 St. Louis 1967 Mustang Coupe. If you're looking for a turnkey, between 20 and 30,000, you're going to find a lot of turnkey ones. It's posted four days ago. St. Louis, check it out. 
I mean, 20,300 here. Again, got a really cool set of wheels on this car. I'm digging them. Black. Looks like it's got blue interior. Doesn't really show you no pics of the interior. Does have a V8. It's a GT. V8. Third owner. 20300 or best offer. Seven days it's been on here. That thing's gorgeous. Price isn't an option. You can spend 22000 Check this one out. It's going to be Cincinnati, Ohio. 66 Mustang Coupe V8. 22000 I dig the charcoal gray and black. Car looks absolutely beautiful. Twenty-two thousand. Can't get there fast enough if you got the money to buy that one. Yep, Cincinnati, Ohio. Check him out. Cool wheels, vinyl top, side scoops. I'm digging it. Gonna be Long Island here. Nineteen sixty-six Mustang convertible C code V8. Eighty-four thousand. Nice Survivor. Twenty-two eight for this car. It is gorgeous. So I'm digging the wheels. It does have a lot of whiskey dents down the sides of it. Blemishes in the paint all over. Rust behind the back bumper. But it did say Survivor. 22.8. We're now up to 23.5. It's going to be in Virginia. Got really beautiful paint, nice wheels, gorgeous interior. Again, driving it to car shows for $23.5. Virginia's your area, check him out. $23.5 is in your budget. This is going to be Oklahoma City, 1966 Mustang, 347 V8 supercharged aluminum heads. Wheeling supercharger, $23,995. It's the same guy that had that Mustang on the other episode. It said could have been a pick of the day. Well, this could have been a pick of the day, too, but he's too busy selling other cars on here. If you want to find it? It's in Oklahoma City. Hit him up. On to another one. It's hard selling dealerships cars, man. It's going to be Atlanta. 1966 Mustang. $23,999. But I do show honest dealerships that don't spread their car throughout all lower 48 states. I usually show those. Shame he's only got two pictures of that for $23,999. Atlanta area. Posted one day ago. He's on $24,000. Two pictures. Going to be Oklahoma City here. 1967 Mustang Convertible. $289. Is this the same dealership? It is. So Oklahoma City. Check them out. They got Mustangs sitting up there. It's going to be Huntsville here, Alabama. 1965 Ford Mustang Convertible V8 Automatic. 25000 Interior looks good. I don't know, though. The body looks kind of rough in places. The top's definitely old. 25000 if that's your area. Looks like original V8. They'll say clean title, factory C code. It's going to be in rally. North Carolina, best 1965 coupe with the custom blue paint and racing stripes. That's how he's got it posted. 23 days it's been on here. So apparently he has a better to sell it in 23 days. That said, we're now up to 26,000. Going to be St. Louis. Another convertible. Love the hubcaps. It's like they went out there and doused it with the hose. So it's probably not going to shine that shiny when you get there to look at it. Definitely looks wet in the photos. Got the top up, top down. I dig that. Those look good with the white top. That's what you're looking for is a convertible. 302. That's what he's got. I mean, Richmond, Virginia here. 1966 Ford Mustang Fastback K Code. 26.5. I almost wondered if we were going to see a fastback 66, right? Well, there you go. There's one right there. Get on it. Head that way. 26.5, you're stealing it. No, I got to tell you, I would build one myself. Before I give 26.5 or something like this. And I say that because you see some of the cars that we pick. Like, I don't know, if you watch some of the recent ones we've just done. What was that Mustang fad? That Mustang Mach 1, Red 1. It was $25,000, was not it? I mean, 
would you really rather buy this for twenty six five? You would pay another fifteen hundred more for this car than you would for that red Mach one. Yeah, there's got to be something loose in your. I, I never understand it. How some of these fastbacks again? If you want one of these, go cut a roof off of something. They make reproduction roofs. You can just pop right on them. You ain't got to go find a fastback no more. They're still asking this kind of money. Uh, the sick part would be down here reading where this is probably already some hacked together one already. I don't know. You tell me. Uh, it's not the only car that we see that comes in at 26.5 for projects when we show cars that are done, man. Like that Mach 1 for 25 dollars We did our last search. We just done. It was like 71 to 73 Mach 1, 74 Mustang Mach 1. And, and you tell me. How the hell are you going to buy this for twenty six five? when you could have that other car for twenty five? dollars That's my point. $28,000 we are up to here. Central Jersey, 1966 Mustang 289. I have a feeling I showed this car before. So probably last time we did Mustangs, I showed this car. He ain't sold it. That's a lot of money. $28,000 for a notch bag? It's probably not ever going to get it. It's just a hell of a lot of money. Not that they don't ask a hell of a lot of money for fastbacks. Some of these guys are out of their minds. Dallas, 1968 Ford Mustang Fastback Shell Project. Here you go, 28000 So you'd rather pay 3000 more for this fastback than you would for that Mustang Mach 1. Man, you got to have screws loose. All right, no, that's, what, you know, that's my point all the time. Rounding them up shows you what cars are worth and what cars like these are not worth. There's no way. It's, it's ignorant people buying shit like this. And overpaying the price is just... That's me being rude on the back of an episode, but... You notice we didn't see a lot of fastbacks either. I'd really have a convertible than a fastback with the money them fastbacks are wanting. 1966 Ford Mustang. Spirit convertible. Tell me it's not cooler to put the whole top down. A, a top gone is better than a fastback top. It makes no sense at all, right? What's well, 29000 for this one? That is quite a bit for a convertible because we've seen these six-cylinder convertibles throughout this whole episode. So with that said, on to another convertible. It's going to be Rhode Island, 1966, Mustang convertible. He wants 29000 for the red with white top. Beautiful car. Spoke up, cap six-cylinder. There's no way I'd pay it. But if that's what you're looking for, it's a red convertible to six-cylinder for your daughter just graduated. Think it over be pay over paying, but she's gonna love you for it. Yep. We're now up to twenty nine nine. Gonna be Richmond, Virginia, nineteen sixty five Mustang hardtop. GT AC car, rust free, fifty five thousand original miles. Beautiful gold looking painted engine. Just looked original. I don't know if that's original or not, but the gold looks her looked good, didn't it? How good that looks. What a beautiful car. $29,900, no way. fifteen nine all day, you know. Definitely a $15,000 car. What about $29,900? You're going to want a notch back pretty bad to pay that kind of money, in my opinion. I want to do another one. It's $30,000. That is our limit, Clarksville. Clarksville, Tennessee here. 1965 Ford Mustang. Thirty grand. Beautiful wheels. Again, that's why I think those wheels look so good on my son's car, too. They're just, that's a gorgeous wheel. Yep. And they look great on these Mustangs as well as my son's car. That said, that's a beautiful car. 30000 is in your budget. You want a cream yellow, 289 automatic. Another one, 30000 are best offer here. Houston is going to be a 68. Beautiful GT hubcaps on this one. What a gorgeous car. I don't know why you'd pay more for a 68. You can buy that right there for 30000 Gorgeous car. South Dakota, 1965 Mustang, 30000 Got some wheels on it. GT wheel, steering wheel in there. I'd rather have the original steering wheel. I mean, these things got such beautiful wooden wheels or the original wheel. There's no way I'd change out the wheel. And if it was missing the wheel, I'd find one. 
That's me, 30,000. I think he's got overpriced. We've seen a lot of nice cars, including this one right here. It's going to be Fargo, 1960. It's going to be Texas, 1967 Ford Mustang, 30,300. So if a green fastback is what you're after, check these guys out. They got one. You can fire it up and drive it home. 30,300. It's going to be the cheapest fastback you're going to find for a 67 online right now. And it's green. So if that's what you're looking for, we found one. It's got their phone number on it. Check them out. It's been here for 15 days. Yep. On to my pick of the day. This was a long search. A lot of cars. Like always, appreciate all you new subscribers. Appreciate all the new requests. We're going to try to get on to some more searches here real soon. It's probably been the longest search we've definitely done this year so far. Hope you all digging that. With that said, on to my pick of the day. Pick of the day goes to Dallas. So Texas gets the pick of the day. It's going to be a 1965 Mustang Fastback Project Aco 4 Speed. 18,000. So kind of like that red one we see at the end of the Facebook Marketplace round. This is a end of the Craigslist round. And it's again a 65 Fastback. This one is a 4 Speed. This one's missing the interior, but I dig the wheels. I dig the car. So we got a V8 sitting down in it. There's one I go check out. You want to go check one out? Go check this dude's out right here. He makes some money on this car. It says it's local cash only. So don't waste his time. It's a 65 Mustang A code 289 four barrel factory four speed car. Pretty much complete. So check him out. That's my pick of the day. If I was going to buy one, that'd be the one I'd want to go check out right there. So I hope you all dig the extra long search we had here for the Mustangs. Big thumbs up. Appreciate all you guys hitting on that thumbs up button. Until we're back next time with some more Brian Beeler's rounding them up. Y'all be safe. Peace out.